at wall to wall framing in Edgewater. <laughs> Longtime shop owner Lay Foray considers a move out. I'm done. Just, I've had it. I'm done. 14 and 5 eighths. After 20 years at this one location, a history of what he calls intimidation and harassment reached a new low. This video, he took of a man spitting on his store window on October 17th and yelling gay slurs at him, led to him taking a more vocal stand. The man is part, he says, of a group of men who are a constant presence on the nearby corner and in front of his store. Because I go outside and tell them to not drink and not throw their garbage and not urinate on the sidewalk in front of my business, they're angry at me. They don't like me at all. I, I, I'm not afraid to call the cops, to call 911 on these guys when they're right in front of my business. And intimidating me and intimidating my customers, they hate it. They don't like it at all. And because I've got the gay pride flag in my window, they call me really awful, terrible names constantly. And this has been going on for a very long time. After the incident on October 17th, he called police again. They showed up. Uh, they basically told me that because the guy was probably mentally ill, that they, there was nothing that they could do about it. So they just left him on the street and they took off. They wrote up a small report, but nothing happened. Another officer, though, came by a few days later, he says, and arrested the man, who is now charged with assault and being treated as a hate crime. We don't see police at all. Not at all. There's not an increase at all. While we were at the shop, newly elected 48th Ward Alderwoman Lenny Mana Hoppenworth stopped by. I think that the fact that these folks are here and they're spitting on small business windows, especially windows who are displaying um, the rainbow colors, and we, we just cannot tolerate that here on Bryn Mawr, in Edgewater, or in the city of Chicago. We're here, we're talking to people, and these folks that are hanging around, they need resources too. For Leif, who's been contacted now by the city's Department of Human Rights after this latest incident, the response generally from the city is slower than he'd like, as he sees businesses moving out along Bryn Mawr, and he's contemplating a move as well. I love the city. I moved to the city in 1991, and I love this city. It's a great city, but it's not the city. It's not the same city that I moved to 32 years ago. It's changed. It's really different. In Edgewater, Sean Lewis, WGN News.